getting a chat here with a racer that I haven't talked to, uh, well, at least at the racetrack in a while. Uh, he's he's come over and done some stuff for us uh, here at the house with his uh, business. You can see it on the quarter panel of his car there, NK Management. Nick Krause has been very busy, as we said. Lately, they had a new addition to the family just a little while ago. He had a birthday just a couple of days ago. He just turned 29, and he's been running dirt car 358s, primarily at uh, Brewer and Speedway. He was racing against the big blocks, right about a dozen starts or so last year. Also got in about a half a dozen starts at Fulton, did the Hurricane Race, did the Outlaw 200, and uh, as his life has changed, he's thinking, eh, probably about the same thing this year. So let's head up to Parrish, New York. Nick Krause, we've known him, and of course, if you guys were at the track maybe about 15 years ago or somewhere around there, and you remember they had a junior flagger on the front stretch, that was Nick Krause. Nick, how we doing, man? Good, how are you, Doug? So how long ago was that now, that, that you were the junior flagger? Oh, I would say probably closer to 20 years. Um, I think I started when I was about seven or eight, and then I ran through that until I was probably like 13-ish, maybe 14. Um, I have to date myself on it. Um, but, yeah, probably yeah, probably about 20 years ago, roughly. Right. Is that your plan for I after you retire as a driver to uh, go to the flag stand for real? Uh, probably not. I think when I do eventually uh, hang it up, I think I'll just become a, a fan, you know, and uh, that'd probably be, you know, yeah, maybe my kid will want to race. Who knows, right? Yeah, and even though this picture is from last year, you say the car is pretty much the same, right? Yeah, we're gonna. That was a, just a picture that I uh, had that I threw up on there because I was getting a lot of messages and kind of calls about because I haven't really posted much. Life's been nuts the last three months, and mm -hmm. um, just yeah, I just figured I would update everybody. And um, yeah, our car's gonna look pretty much identical to last year, and um, we're got the same sponsors on board, so we're thankful for that. And uh, we're pretty much gonna obtain. About the same schedule. You know, we're going to run Friday nights as much as we can. You know, hopefully we hit 90 to 95% of the Friday nights, you know, but we're always open to, uh, you know, if, if there's something major going on in life that, you know, we, we might miss a week. Mm -hmm. And then uh, maybe we'd fill in on a Saturday. But we're, we're going to just kind of do almost identical to last year. And that perfectly clean that you see underneath, that's his mom's business. So whether you need uh, a tree cut down or something in your fireplace or you need the place cleaned up, the Krause family can take care of you. So how much has life changed with a three-and-a-half-month-old daughter around? Oh, a lot. <laughs> just a lot more than uh, I think I was expecting. You know, and she, she came about five weeks early. So oh. we weren't really ready, um, but we had to get ready quick. And um, since then, it's just been just trying to figure it all out. And, yeah. It's been, um, you don't have as much free time as you thought you had. So mm -hmm. they're just a little bit behind schedule with some things. And, yeah, just trying to work work through it. Now the next few years are going to be a lot of fun for you. So uh, so good luck with everything. I hope you and your wife, uh, yeah, I'm sure it's brought you two closer together too, hasn't it? You're, now, you're a team now. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, definitely has uh, been a, been a big, uh, big eye-opening experience for both of us, you know, and just trying to work together on things and, Definitely has, you know, it's definitely done great things um, for the family, and um, yeah, we, we share the same bond now. So it's definitely interesting. You know, never thought I'd be a father, for instance, <laughs> and uh, now I'm 29, and uh, you know, I, I am. So it's just life changes quick. Yeah, and young enough, you can still play softball or whatever she might want to do. So that's yeah. good. Is the car ready? Could you race today? Uh, we could race in a day or so, yeah. I mean, we pretty much didn't do a whole lot of teardown last year. I mean, our motor was pretty fresh. Had about six races on it. Um, you know, we just got to get the uh, new outer body hung on it and rewrapped. But, I mean, we're going to start um, at Brewerton for practice in two weeks with last year's body and, in turn, getting our new body and um, the wrap done. So, uh, yeah, but we, we could race in a day or two if we really wanted to. And well, you put six eight, six, eight hours in, and you're pretty much ready to go. So is one of the practices going to be your first time out, perhaps? Yeah. Yep. Uh, we're shooting for Brewerton. Uh, we won't. We definitely won't make uh, Fulton um, next Saturday. Um, my fiance Kendall is graduating from nursing school, so that's a whole day, a nice. whole day uh, <clears throat> ordeal. So uh, that that's got me booked Friday, Saturday of next week, and then uh, we'll we'll hope to get to Brewerton there for that practice. I think what is it, April thirtieth, May first, somewhere in there, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's a. Uh, I'm going to look that up while he's on the phone here. I'm going to bring that up. So, so I I didn't think about that. I forgot that your wife's a a nurse. Boy, talk about having some expertise, uh, you know, as far as somebody to lean on, or or is pediatrics not necessarily her thing? Uh she's uh, she's definitely right in the wheelhouse of everything that we got going on. So, um, it's been a long three years of her in school. So, I um, mean, she's not going to be selling fifty fifties at the racetracks this summer because now. You know, she, she's out of school and uh, she's work, f focusing on being a mom and all that great stuff in her career now. So, 
I'm looking that up for you, by the way. It is going to be on Tuesday, April 30th, will be the test and tune uh, at Brewerton Speedway. So you got a little time uh, before you... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be ready to go with that. We just actually uh, unfogged the motor about three weeks ago now, two, three weeks ago, and uh, actually just took it up the road the other night, just scrubbed the tires off. we got to get a good, okay. a good wash on it. And, um, yeah, pretty much, we're pretty close to being ready to go. Like I said, we if we put you know our heads together for... I don't know a day, I and mean, we could be ready to ready to go. You know, so do we envision about the same type of schedule this year? Yeah, yep, yep. Like I said, we're going to run a Friday night program. Uh, we we definitely like to run over there. Me personally, um, with Burton, has been my favorite track forever. So you know, I mean, granted, we're racing up a class per se, or however right. anybody wants to look at it. But they give the incentive with the bonus. You know, we get the weight break, and it's just a place that. It's close to home, 15 minutes down the road, you know, Friday nights, get out of work, go race, and then, you mm-hmm. know, it kind of frees your weekend up in a way. You know, it does. We, are a lot of, you know, we always work the weekend, but there's not, you know, there's times where, you know, we could get to Fulton on a Saturday night, or there's times that you got a barbecue and you just want to do that, you know. So there's definitely other things that, you know, happen on Saturday. No, you're right. A lot of people do prefer that long day. Uh, especially like like you said, you you get a lot of work done on Saturdays, so it really does yeah. kind of have to be that way. The yep. other thing I was thinking, because what he's talking about about being down a class, he's he's running a dirt car three fifty eight, which is in the high five eighty five ninety range for horsepower, and he's running against the big blocks, which are eight hundred and sometimes even more horsepower. You had to be feeling pretty good when Amy Holland won last year in a three fifty eight, because that gave yeah. I would imagine you're sitting there going, okay, it can be done, right? Yeah, for sure. No, she did extremely good last year, and I expect her to do similar this year, too, you know, and uh, it can be done. You know, we were in a position there, I think it was maybe in July, that um, we pretty much had one wrapped up, and uh, I made a mistake as a driver, just got it in the fence off, two with two to go. I mean, we've been there, you know, and uh, it can be done, and I will guarantee you that another 358 will probably win this summer at some point. Takes the right circumstances, you know, just green, green to checkered kind of deal, but it can be done. You know, what did you do wrong? Stuff, uh, I just got up in the marbles off turn two and just kind of sucked it in the fence. You know, the fence mm-hmm. that nobody knows is out there. We we found it. I mean, way <laughs> out the top fence, right? Yeah, we were just we were going for it. But um, I think just a lot of that. Just I've never won one of, uh, in a modified, and I think it started getting in my head with about five to go. And you know, it just I don't know, it's just it's easier said than done some days. You know, and um, just just couldn't seem to figure it out and get it done. But we we've been there. You know, over the last four years of running 358, I bet you we've had five or six shots that legitimately get oh, one done, and maybe this year we'll get it done. So how do you not get in your head if the situation presents itself again? Uh, I mean, it sounds I easy, don't... just race the track, to worry one corner yeah, at a time, for, but it's not for that sure, easy. For sure, for sure. I just think that, um, you know, it's, it, when you're out front late, um, just trying to get your first one, for me at least, it, it, it just kind of gets in your head, trying not to think about it, but, um, uh-huh. you know, some days it just does. Well, hopefully when he gets in that situation, notice I didn't say if, I said when he gets in this situation yeah. this year, uh, he'll be able to finish it out. So, yeah, I, I think we'll, we'll hopefully, you know, knock on wood, we'll have another shot or two this summer and maybe get one done. And, you know, we'll, we'll see. You know, just got to keep showing up and doing the best we can do. Now, talk about, uh, I wanted to make sure I give your business a plug here because Nick has started his own business. How long has it been now? Uh, so I I started about two years ago, just kind of doing some you know weekends, you know moonlighting kind of deal, and then uh, I I went out on my own there about middle of last summer. Just just said you know what I got enough clientele right now. Let's take a like a you know stab at it, okay. see what happens. And uh, so this is my first uh, full spring, summer, fall kind of deal of really being on my own. Mm-hmm. And um, so that was another part of our reason between having. An, a child and really just wanted to put my eggs in the basket of making sure that, you know, like, we, you know, we could provide for the family, you know, sure. so that's why racing, racing was, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's there, but it's also not it's the priority is when you lived at your parents' house and you didn't really have much overhead and you can just go race every night of the week, you know, per se. Okay. Um, so, that's so a yeah, matter, just, no matter what project you got, we're just running out of time here, Nick. That's all. Um, no matter what it is, pretty much Nick can handle it. Is that? But we got ten seconds. Is that about the best way to 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 sum it up, Nick? Yeah, you know anything property related outside. You know we do get into some inside stuff, and uh, but yeah, anything outside that you would need for something, uh, yeah, you can give us a call and we can definitely come look at it. If I don't do it, I I got people that I know that will do it. So. Nick, you take care of yourself, guys. Make sure to subscribe, turn on the notifications, all that cool stuff. Good luck with everything. I'll see you soon, Nick. Absolutely, Doug. I appreciate the phone call.